What's up guys, it is the T-Ball and I am back with another video before I start. If you guys could leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, your support is greatly appreciated as we are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you're not subbed, be sure to hit that sub button and turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. So today we're going to be breaking down Lonzo Ball's first summer league game and it was a struggle. So for a quick background, the Lakers played the Clippers on today, July 7th. 2017 and ball struggled mightily for his stats he scored only five points on two of 15 shooting from the field one of 11 shooting from three-point range to go along with five assists and three turnovers in 33 minutes of playing time with the lakers losing to the clippers in overtime by a score of 96 to 93 so lonzo ball struggled mightily on offense he shot very poorly two of 15 shooting that's terrible he simply couldn't hit anything. He also airballed a three in the first half and he just couldn't get anything to go. He did have some nice passes at times, especially in the first play. He had an alley-oop to Brandon Ingram for the dunk, but he did have a 5-3 to three assist to turnover ratio, which is not good at all. If he wants to give the Lakers a chance to have a solid offense during the regular season, he definitely needs to improve on that. And he just simply needs to make better decisions, which I know he could do as we saw in UCLA. Lonzo Ball averaged 7.6 assists per game, however, the NBA is much tougher competition, and in tonight's game, he did struggle a lot with his decision making and shooting. However, I would like to point out that in UCLA, Lonzo Ball did shoot over 40% from 3-point range, so definitely expect Ball to shoot better in the next Summer League game or in the NBA games, as I'm sure Ball will not be shooting 1 of 11 from 3-point range in all games, as that's about like 9%. So I'm definitely expecting some better shooting performances from him, and I'm sure he's going to do just that. On defense, he had some nice plays as well. He had a big block in the first half on a Clippers player's jump shot. So that was a nice athletic play, but he did look slow on some defensive plays as well. So a bit of everything on defense. He was good in some plays, bad on some plays, which we see from other rookies too. So don't expect Lonzo to be perfect on defense. He does need to work on some stuff, and I'm sure he will. And for all you guys who are over-exaggerating and hating on Lonzo, it is only one game and I'm sure he's going to have a much better game, but this was a terrible outing for his Summer League debut and I definitely expect much better shooting and decision making in his next game. I'd also like to point out Brandon Ingram was really nice today as well. He had some nice shots, athletic plays, and he had some nice playmaking as well. He made some nice passes to some of his teammates for the easy bucket, so good for him. It looks like he improved a lot since we last saw him and hopefully he can dominate the NBA like he did today. So that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching this quick little breakdown on Lonzo Ball's first summer league game in his debut. We all know Lonzo Ball is under a lot of pressure and a lot of people are watching him because of his dad's comments in general from his comments that Lonzo was better than Steph Curry and LeVar himself is better than Michael Jordan or was better than Jordan. So Hopefully Lonzo plays better in his next game as I'm not rooting against him. I'm not rooting for him. I'm not a Lakers fan. So, but I think a lot of the hate he gets is basically from his dad. So we'll see how he plays in his next game. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on this game down in the comment section below and how you think he's going to play in his next game and throughout the regular season as well. So once again, thanks for watching and be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more NBA videos as your support is greatly appreciated. And I will be putting out some great NBA content throughout the rest of this offseason, throughout the regular season, and so forth. So once again, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys all have a great one. Peace.